Have you been misunderstood where you try to explain yourself to your friends or to somebody and they never understood you? Let's see what Rumi uh, tells us about that. So I'm going to interpret two verses from Rumi's book. The first interpretation is going to be a little bit shallow related to our day-to-day -day life and the other one, the second one, is going to be a little bit deeper. So Rumi says, سر من از ناله من دور نیست لیک چشم و گوش را آن نور نیست So he says that the secret or what's really happening inside me is not very different to what, how I'm expressing myself. And then the other part which mean, uh, means that لیک چشم, چشم و گوش را آن نور نیست means that however your ears and eyes do not have the insight or ability to say and really understand what I'm talking about. And that's when sometimes we find ourselves misunderstood by others, by friends, colleagues, etc., is that they don't really have an impartial way of looking at the world and around them. For example, they have based on their childhood experiences or experiences with their family or with friends, they kind of created a framework for themselves that they think it's applicable to everybody else. So when you tell them about a life situation to your friends, they would judge it and think about it in a way that they would think about it. They look at their frame of reference, they look at their life experiences and therefore it's a little bit hard to connect with them because they don't really understand you. So when Rumi says that, uh, that what I, whatever I'm saying is not really different from what I'm saying, like how I feel, the secret inside me is not different to what I say, It means that you actually don't have the eyes and ears to be able to see it. And what sort of uh, situation or person can have really the insight uh, and understanding to really get, get you? It's those people when they don't really bring their judgment with you and their internal dialogue that when, they telling, when you're telling them the story, they don't really put these other labels on the story. And so these labels could be the things that they see from their point of view. And therefore they may give you a comment which is completely inconsistent with, with your story. So this is more uh, kind of superficial day-to-day -day interpretation of that. But see what happened actually to Rumi himself. So he was... In a, in, a, uh, in a group of people where he was regarded as a highly spiritual person and when he's trying to tell them about the love that he feels for, uh, you, for, for being united to the consciousness and how great it is to be uh, in touch with your essence and your consciousness, they started framing it, people around him, as the way that they see the world. So they saw a lot of limitation that he couldn't see because, because Rumi left the ego. So he's talking from non-egoic perspective. Whereas people who were trying to listen to him and trying to understand him, they were coming from their frame of reference, which a lot of times was, so how are our community going to think about it? What about this thought? What about that thought? But I think it's impossible to be uh, spiritual and just being uh, in love with your being and be, be uh, conscious. It's impossible. So we need all these things to grab to it. And, that, and in that sense is when Rumi says that لِكْ چَشْمَ گُوشْرَ آن نُور نِيست means that your ears and your, their heart, their heart and their ears, doesn't have the light or ability to see that. And why do you think that they didn't understand him and their heart and ears didn't have the light? It's because they were 
kind of covered by this ego. And when we have a lot of commentary in our head, when there is so much conversation going on, when we really take it seriously, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's possible to, ident to identify with those thoughts, but it will really take you away and from your essence. So this sort of, so it's not difficult to get caught in those kind of egoic conversation in our head. But when you, when you do get caught in that conversation, then you don't really have the ears and the eyes to see what is real, what, is, what was the real secret and experience that Rumi had. So I addressed this from two levels. One of them was more superficial and one, what, uh, one was more deeper. The simple day-to-day -day experience is that when we feel our friends don't understand us, is because they come with this commentary in their head, which is their ego, trying to see the world through their own experiences and being unable to see and understand our perspective. When we tell them a story, they put their comment on it and they don't understand it. So they don't have these beautiful eyes and ears that is free from their own judgment. And then in the following verses, Jalaluddin Rumi says, تن ز جان و جان ز تن مستور نیست لیک کس را دید جان دستور نیست It means that our physical body or the things that create ego on, in us is not separated from our essence which is consciousness or soul It's not separate, we are together Wherever you go, your soul comes with you The consciousness is there too so they are not separate. And the, the second part where, it's, where, it's, uh, where he says, Li kasro dide jan dasturnis, means that although these two parts are together, but nobody is allowed to see the soul. So that would be average way of looking at things. So people who were trying to connect to Rumi were only seeing his physical appearances and the things that he does. They couldn't relate to the things that he was saying because he was really revealing his secret. But they weren't uh, able to see that. Because they weren't, uh, because they can't, because we can't see the soul. The soul as long as we are really trapped in our ego. So in that time, they try to get connected to Rumi. They don't have those uh, spiritual development. And therefore, although Rumi's soul and body were all merged together, they only could see the physical part. And when they see the physical part and they don't see the soul, they put their own interpretation on him and they misunderstood him. However, there were people who were able to get rid of their ego, to be free from the commentary in their head. And when Rumi says something about his love for the creator, his love for God, his love for being with the essence, or when he was saying that we all are as humans, a part of the same consciousness. Or when Rumi says that your separation from the God or from your source is similar to when a drop of the ocean is separated from, separated from the ocean and is in the middle of the desert. So this is how much separation is painful. They couldn't understand it because because their physical eyes and ears was unable to process the information well because of the commentary that was happening in their head. So what we learn uh, from these two verses of uh, uh, Rumi is that first of all, 
understanding and understand that it can be potentially difficult for other people to understand you because your intention etc and your soul and your spiritual development is not necessarily known to people when a lot of people listen to you they look at you they uh, hear your story in a way that they want based on their conditioning ego and mind unless they are developed enough to be able to really listen to your word and just put themselves in your shoe and really try to understand you. So that's the first point. The second point is that you could or we could be actually the same. We could try to be in touch with our consciousness and with our essence and kind of separate ourselves from this conversation in our head. So when we are with somebody, we kind of recognize that we are the same in essence. And when they tell us a story, if we don't put the conditioning that, we, that everybody, that most people have in their head, if we don't use that conditioning to judge uh, our friends or people who are interacting with, we can better understand them. They feel more understood and there will be a strong bond between us uh, and them. Thanks very much for watching this short video. Please like the video if you like and subscribe. That helps a lot and it allows the Rumi's word to be spread across the world. Thanks very much.